Hello everyone, Camp Cruiser back here again with another video now. I was gonna do a video on my thoughts about the current state of YouTube, but I'm gonna put that off until I have some more stuff to talk about because this is just normal shit. This happens at least once every few months. And then, um, but I'm going to talk to you about my, um, school's vaping epidemic. I'm going to use the word epidemic lightly in this scenario because, along with the meme page I was talking about, now it has been renamed to, I'm not going to tell you what it was, but it, you won't be able to find it anyways. It's just going to be buried underneath, like, a mountain of stuff, but, um, to my face while you turn the other cheek the Ain't got shit, all your shit is meme page no was they were threatened we with expulsion or suspension or something like that if they didn't take it down or rename the page so they renamed it you know put it back up there and um onto the vaping epidemic <laughs> No, it, it's kind of fucking ridiculous that the school thinks that they can solve it, which is, is actually pathetic in my opinion. They can not... They, they really can't solve a lot of the problems at a school without, like, severe authoritarian type things and violating some right, rights. Especially when it comes down to privacy and other shit like safety and something about that. Now, we have a lot of shit going on in our school. We have a girl who's facing rape allegations against other females, and um, no, we keep telling people about it. We keep calling her a rapist. The school keeps suspending people and giving them detention when they call her that. And when they do that, it's not really solving the problem. It's just creating a bigger one because the person who's being called a rapist is getting let go. I mean... I don't really, I don't really want to say that she did, but she most likely did because no one in her grade really trusts her, and we really believe that she did something like this. And like, the school just like blatantly ignored all the allegations. I don't think there's been like any investigation into a matter at hand. This is pathetic, and um, damn, I got off topic again, but um. They have cracked down on vaping. A few, uh, like last week, had a lockdown so people can come in and search um, the bags and the lockers of um, students of interest. It was kind of funny because no one got caught, even though most of them did have stuff on them. Oh, another person got, um, you know, suspended for three days for having a jewel on him that accidentally fell out of his sleeve. I mean, I don't jewel. I, I don't like that because I'm afraid if I, like, might alter my mind or somebody might fucking snap and hurt someone, but... It's just... <laughs> it's kind of funny when you have, like, a problem that's so easy to be resolved. No, 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 not easy. It's, it's fucking hard when it comes down to shit like this because... They're small, and they're easy to conceal, and... Well, they're, they're vaping, so... And yes, it harms your body, but not as bad as some of the other shit they could have brought in. Hell, someone brought in fucking Zans laced with something else, and... Dude, we had a massive fucking fiasco about it. it we still teased a girl about it, still. It's kind of sad, but at the same time, kind of funny. I have no moral high ground in this scenario, but no one really gives a shit. I'm 14 years old, I have no high ground to begin with. <laughs> Alright, anyway, I just wanted to talk about this because I, I realized I needed content and I realized I needed to talk to someone about all the, you know, fucking hell, um, the problems I go with on a daily basis. I mean, my class, when it comes down to vaping, we're pretty alright, mostly, kind of, but also the school year comes like to an end in like 10 days. So that means more time to make content, but more time to just deal with my bitch ass sister, but still. You know, every, every action has an opposite and reaction action. I don't fucking know what the hell Isaac Newton said, but, um, alright, yeah. Alright, see you all later. It's been Captain Corrosive signing off. I fucking spilt my beer.